Hey there. I'm going to bring you the message from a different space today. I am convalescing with Jamal. I'm not con convalescing. Jamal's convalescing. So Jamal had an accident this week. And so we're going to sit inside and stay quiet. I'll see if I can get you a better picture of, of his bandages. He hurt his legs. But he will be fine. And I am a nurse this weekend. The gospel reading for this week comes from Luke chapter 17, verses 20, yeah, 20 and 21. When Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. No one will say, here it is, there it is, for remember. The kingdom, or the kingdom of God, is within you. If the kingdom of God is within us, and with the kingdom or the kingdom being a reference to the goodness of God and the heavenly and holy ways of God, that would imply that the kingdom or the kingdom has already come. That heaven is here. And heaven is now which is one way that verse 21 has been translated the ways of God are within you the goodness of God is with you heaven is here and now let me see if I get Jamal's face in there a little bit during this past week I thought a lot about where the kingdom is where we find and experience the ways of whole heaven, how we encounter the holy, as we live our everyday ordinary lives. My contemplations were inspired by the story of John Moore, M-U-I-R. John Moore is often referred to as the Celtic prophet of ecological consciousness. Moore held some very concrete beliefs about where and how holiness is found. His spiritual journey reminded me of St. Bridget's spiritual journey and my own spiritual journey as well. I suspect you will recognize some of your own journey in his story also. Mur, M-U-I-R, Mur, like Bridget, straddled two worlds. One was filled with the teachings of the Christian church. The other was filled with raw encounters with the divine, the kind of encounters which magnify all of those things that we know, that we know, that we know deep down in our souls without a word being spoken without anyone teaching. 